I mainly developed Minsky because I want to be able to build models of the monetary system. So to quickly show what that uh, that looks like, just you know, very fast demo. Uh, you basically can whack a bank inside a system, bring up a table, and record double entry bookkeeping. Now that's what the main reason it's been designed. But because it's uh, also you know, it maintains the same uh, paradigm as most system dynamics programs with a flowchart to build equations. You can also be used to build models like, for example, of the Lorenz Attractor. So what I'm going to show you here, this is a finished model of the Lorenz Attractor. Over this side I've got equations in the uh, Retractor which have been generated by, by Minsky itself by choosing the option here for output latex. But you can now simulate the system and of course if you start in equilibrium then absolutely nothing happens. But you can come down here with a, you notice the thing with the shock, put the arrow key above it, press the uh, right arrow key and bang I wake a shock into the system and now you can see the overall dynamics. So this would be a, a nice little way to demonstrate the Lorenz Attractor for anybody teaching a maths course on that topic. And I've just put a few other, uh, the, the classic models inside here as well. So here for example is the double pendulum. We don't have 3D graphs as yet and we don't have the capacity to do um, uh, the X, Y illustrating the angles and so on. Those are features we'd like to add at the later stage. If any, any hotshot C++ programmers out there would like to help us Add those elements to the code, please sign on to the open source project at SourceForge. Now let's see also the Vanderpol attractor in chaos mode. And notice down the bottom here we've got a, a chart which is showing, well this just chart is showing the X and Y values. This is showing a range of the X and Y values and I can change the range you can see by again modifying this little slider here while you're actually running the simulation. And finally, the Duffing Attractor. Again, pushed into the chaos mode. And again, the same sort of idea with the down the bottom there. I can make a larger range, you see, or a smaller range while you're running the simulation. And as mentioned before, uh, the out equations are easily output to LaTeX, so you can show what the actual equations are behind the system. And you can also output to MATLAB and process it in MATLAB and produce other graphs and so on. And in the next little video, I'll show you how uh, easy it is to build a model uh, using the Lorenz model as my, as my uh, foundation system.